All right, in this uh, video here, we're going to be writing linear equations from graphs. So we're given the graph. We have to write out the linear equation that goes with it. Our equations will be in the form y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope, and b is the y-intercept of the place where the line crosses the y-axis. So for this first one here, look at our slope. And we've got to pick a couple of points. Looks like the line crosses right there. And looks like the line crosses again right down here. Now, we could, of course, pick any two points on the line, but a lot of these points, I don't know quite where they are. Like, this looks to be like the point 1 and the y coordinate is something, but I don't know what. So, we've got to pick coordinates that, or points that have coordinates we know. So, this is down 3 and forward 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, negative three-fifths, so we have y equals negative three-fifths x, and our y-intercept is one on the y-axis, so plus one. Right, next pair, Let's see, here, looks like the line crosses right here, and looks like up here. So, it looks like a down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, down seven spaces, and forward three. So, rise over one, that's negative seven over three. So, y equals mx plus b. Here's a little bit here. We have y equals, our slope is negative 7 thirds, x, and our y-intercept is 1, 2, 3, down on the y-axis, so negative 3, minus 3. Okay. All right, over here. Oh, well, I'll find our slope. It's y equals mx plus b. We need to find our slope and our y-intercept, the slope. Now it looks like the line crosses here. Fire along, looks like right here. So that's forward and up. One, two, three, four. Four forward, up three. So our slope rise over run. Three fourths. So y equals. 3 fourths x, and our y intercept, the place where the line crosses the y axis, looks like it's positive 1. There we go. Alright, let's do one more. So, y equals mx plus b. Let's see, it looks like the line crosses here and down here. Actually, it looks like it crosses a lot of places in between, but I picked these two points for a good reason here. Right, we're down one, two, three, four, five. The third, one, two, three, four, five. Let's see. So this means our slope is negative five over five, but that reduces to simply negative one over one or negative one. And notice we could have gone negative one over one, negative one over one, negative one over one. So it works out the same in the end. All right, so y equals our slope, which is negative 1, x. Our y-intercept looks like it's 5, positive 5. All right. And normally, if we have a negative 1 for our coefficient, we wouldn't write negative 1. We would simply write y equals negative x plus 5. And if it were a positive 1, we would just write positive x. We don't usually write a 1 when the coefficient is 1. So this would be the more standard way to write it. Right. Good luck with that.